Hello and welcome back to That Art Prof. I'm Emily and today we're going to be working on the line and wash. This is a particularly fun exercise for those of you that um, worry or spend a little bit of time about your drawing skill. As you can see here, I've already got my drawing a little bit laid out for me. Um, what I've been using are these great uh, micron pens. They come in different uh, tip sizes and uh, I usually use like a, a tend to use a smaller size. Um, they're really like that you can get, they come from thick to thin. Um, they even have like a little bit of a brush stroke. So like I said, I've, I've laid in um, a quick just gestural drawing is nothing, you know, that you have to get super fancy about. And what I like about it is that the lines are meant to show. Unlike typically when we're using the watercolor, we want to make sure our pencil lines are really light um, so that we don't have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of pencil lines showing through. I mean, this is a little bit better in the way that it, that's what we want. We're looking for that fun, loose quality when we do the line and wash. So like I said, um, pick yourself up some permanent micron pens and you just do a little sketch first. Um, sometimes I'll even do it in pencil before I start right in with the pen, um, unless it's something that I really don't, that I really don't um, care about too much. So Again, I've you know got my paper towels and stuff like right handy, and in case I need them, in case I put them put a spot down that I don't really love. Uh, but what I like about this is it doesn't really happen. And again, like you can just kind of go in and fill in these areas, and I don't even you know worry about um, filling them in all the way sometimes. That's um, kind of you know that idea that the looser the better. So we're just gonna um, like I said, we're just gonna go in and kind of put in some of these spots and, and not really worry about it uh, being too perfect. This is kind of a nice, like quick, loose way to get comfortable with the watercolors and just be um, happy with the results it, when they when they do what they do. So and I'm not worried about um, whether or not they go outside of the lines. I, um, you know, sometimes that makes it even a little bit more interesting. Uh, so again, like I said, we're just, you know, you can work super quick with these and it doesn't, and perfection isn't the key here. So, you know, you just um, make it, you know, keep it loose and, and you'll be surprised um, at how, you know, successful you're going to feel at the end of this. You know, you got some some great things happening here and and you don't um, and you don't have to worry about that, you know, that control. So I, you know, I've laid in obviously um, my yellows and greens. So I'm starting with my lighter colors first. Um, and now I'm going to kind of go in and add in maybe a little like of this like reddish uh, crimsony color it's a uh, more of you know maybe go for more of like a fuchsia effect and again you know I'm um I'm okay with keeping some of the white spots here I might want to uh, hit these edges a little a little harder a little darker uh and then you know just decide where I want it I can get bright I can get light um, if it's you know again if it's too much and I think then I can just loosen it right you know wash my brush and and kind of you know loosen it right out but I don't think that it's anything that we you know like have to like I said it, you know accidents or no accidents um, it's gonna it's gonna come out great so uh, I, I really like being able to switch up between a couple of different tones of the of the red here I've got some um, some crimson now that I'm going to put in and you can just see how that's just a slight bit different if I feel like I'm going to lose that watercolor look that you know that I'm enjoying um, or if it's too much you know again we can kind of you know do, go fall back on some of our techniques hit it with the paper towel um, you know go work back into it you know maybe I'll um, even introduce a little uh, a little of the violet here for you know nice interesting you know little effect and, and again, like, let's, you know, let's go with it. Let's not worry about, um, too much about how it turns out. We'll, we'll just lay in the, in that color. And, you know, if I want to show a little differentiation between the petals here, I just will hit the corner, um, with a little bit of that other color. And I, what I like is that the, um, you know, is that we still can see through it a little bit. We still got that nice translucent effect that we that we get with watercolors. Um, I might go and you know up here and maybe stick with more of that that violet range that we were working with. I might even decide I want to add in a little blue into the into the violet tones. Um, finish it off maybe with working back into that little bit of the red, so that all just kind of 
folds together nicely there. And you know, I'm kind of happy with that look. Uh, again, you don't, you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be married to it. You, you know, if you don't love it, again, look how quick this of a little project this is coming along. You know, another couple minutes here, and and we're gonna be finished because you can just lay in these these colors so quickly now that you're, you know, now that your drawing is is completed, you you really can be as quick and as expressive as you want. Um, I might finish it up by. Just taking maybe some a little bit of this yellow ochre here that we put in in the in the middle and just kind of warming you know putting a little bit of a warmer tone down here as it gets a little bit closer I can carry some of it into you know into the leaf a little bit if I want to um, but again you know I feel like it's a great um, a great way to do the project it comes out pretty quick it works you know, uh, you're going to let it dry and it's going to look super lovely. You can do flowers. You can do some architecture. I have on a board beside me even a little bit of, you know, of some animals you can throw in there. Uh, but give it a try and, and see what you come up with and make sure you are using, again, a permanent pen. Um, it doesn't have to be like the Micron brand, but um, something that's, that's not going to um, get bleeding a little bit with your water. So give it a try and let me know what you come up with.